All right, what's going on guys? We're here in the Gritty Soldier Gym. And today is actually a free day workout for me, a free workout day for me. I get to choose whatever workout I want to do. I think doing that is important into your schedule so that you can reset the mind a little bit and just do a little bit of what you want to do instead of just going along your training plan constantly. Sometimes that can lead to burnout. Today's my free day. I decided to use my free day by picking a workout from the 13 week uh, Ranger School program that we have at GrittySoldier.com. I'm picking one of those workouts. And this workout's gonna be extremely focused on strength building, okay? Building up those muscles and those muscle groups that you're really gonna need to perform well at Ranger School. Now when you're talking about being physically prepared for Ranger School, it's not, you know, there isn't really a whole lot of focus on the strength aspect. At least you don't need to be like a big jack dude uh, to be successful at Ranger School. In fact, I would say, um, that would be counterproductive uh, in your situation if you are that guy. You really should be focusing mainly on endurance aspects um, and cardio and obviously your ruck marching ability is gonna be huge at Ranger School. But that doesn't mean that strength training doesn't have a place, um, especially for you guys you know, that could use a little bit more muscle. Uh, you gotta have muscle to build muscular endurance. And my personal training program recently has been focused on strength gain, uh, general strength building back that muscle mass that I've lost over the last some months over uh, all the running training that I've been doing lately. And this workout from that program is actually a perfect free day workout to implement into my own training regime. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I also thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys, you know, what you could be getting into if you were interested in that program or if you're looking to train up for Raider School in general. So with this workout, there's a warm up involved. So we'll make sure we hit that warm up. I'll show you what all the different warm up exercises look like. And then we'll go into each exercise and uh, I'll explain to you while I'm doing the exercise why each and every exercise on this workout is important for general strength when it comes to training up for Ranger School. Now, as far as supplementation goes, I am gonna take a pre-workout and I'm also gonna take protein. That's just something I habitually do. I do think it's a good idea as long as you use it in moderation, you're careful with it, you don't overdo it. It's all performance enhancing. It's, it's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. But a quick note I want to say, when you're training up for Ranger School, I do advise that you use pre-workout to get through your workouts um, and make sure that you're performing to the highest of your capability during those workouts. However, I would also say that about two weeks out, no later than two weeks out from ra your Ranger School date, you need to cut all your uh, performance enhancing uh, supplements minus protein. You can keep taking protein, but if you're taking pre-workout, creatine, BCAAs, anything like that, you need to stop no later than two weeks out, okay? Because you don't want to be going into Ranger School being dependent on that kind of stuff. It's just going to hurt you in the long run, all right? So just keep that in mind. But if you're just now starting out, you got some months to train up, go ahead and take your pre-workout, go ahead and take your SUPS. I think it's a good thing. Now today I'm going to be using First Call from Downrange SUPS. This pre-workout's really, really good. This is one of my favorite pre-workouts that I've been using recently. Now we're actually doing a giveaway for downward supplements, okay? And there's gonna be three winners this time that are gonna get supplement packages sent completely free to their door, 100% free, okay? It just comes to your door, you get to use it, it's good stuff. There's gonna be a few videos that are part of this giveaway that qualify for the actual giveaway drawing, okay? We're just gonna pick from a hat, names from a hat, three names, remember that. And all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Make sure that you do that now so you don't forget. You'll be entered into the giveaway for you guys that have uh, been long-term subscribers. When I've done giveaways in the past, you know this is legit. There's gonna be three people that win this uh, prize this time, all right? So make sure you do that. This stuff really is pretty good. It's got you know plenty of uh, citrulline, beta alanine, a uh, good amount of caffeine in there. All the stuff that you would typically be looking for if you know what you're looking for with good pre-workouts. Uh, this stuff has really good dosages in it and all you need is one scoop, man. That's it. You'll start getting the tingles, you'll get plenty of energy, and, and you're good to go for your entire workout. This really is good stuff, okay? I'm not just saying it, guys. And they're also combat veteran owned. All right, let's do this. All right, so there's two separate prescribed warm-ups for this program. This one calls for warm-up A, okay? So that's the one we're gonna be doing. All right, guys, so we're gonna have to take it outside for the warm-up. Uh, there's two warm-ups as a part of this program. This one calls for warm-up A, okay? And both warm-ups are really meant to just get the blood going, loosen up mainly the lower body and the core uh, because the program in itself is mostly endurance-based, okay? So that's why, you know, you're gonna see this. There's a lot of uh, jogging, skipping, karaoke, stuff like that. But that's really the reason for it. It's, it's holistically looking at the program just to keep you loose as you go on through the entire program. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it as it reads because it's gonna be a good workout for me today. And I'll just show you some quick glimpses of what they look like so that if you wanna follow along, you can. All right, hopefully I got you set up good enough there. Here we go.
people always ask me if the skip is completely necessary and I say yes, 110%, the skip is completely necessary. You can't underestimate the power of the skip. It's really good for ankle stability and just loosening up the calves. Don't skip your skips. <laughs> All right, so that was a warm up. Takes no longer than like 10 minutes to complete. You gotta make sure you do your warm ups. It's super important. It helps you to avoid injury and it really helps you to get the most out of your workout, okay? So do the warm ups. All right, so let's get into the workout. So it's gonna be mostly, like I said, strength focus, okay? A lot of, a lot of throwing around, a lot of banging steel, okay? We're gonna be doing clean pulls, military press, barbell shrugs, good mornings, hammer curls, and easy bar curls, okay? And then we'll top it off with a one mile jog. Um, that's just to, you know, keep the endurance levels up. And one of the best parts of this program is even with the strength training, you know, you could get all this done even with like your basic home gym setup, okay? Even, even the strength training days. All right, guys, first up's gonna be the clean pool, okay? It should be four by fours, moderately heavy, okay? So that's something that you can control but still challenges you at the same time. It's gonna look different for everybody, but just know it's not so heavy that you can't get to your last rep, but it's heavy enough where it's still a decent challenge for you. Now this is true with all Olympic lifts, um, but especially true when you're training for endurance because your body's already going through a lot of breakdown to begin with. You really want to focus on your form as much as possible to avoid injury and to get the most out of your workout. I'll also say, just do your best. Um, these Olympic lifts are not easy. Um, they're really hard to get right, and I, I don't know how you guys feel out there, but it, it seems to be, even as a trainer, no matter what happens, no matter how hard you try and how much practice you put into it, your form can always get better. Okay, so just do the best you can with this. Make sure you're paying attention. And if something hurts, like structurally, you're not doing it right, you need to take a step back, take some weight off, practice some more at lighter weight, okay? But the benefits of Olympic lifts, especially the clean pulls, as we're training up for Ranger School, is that it works so many different muscle groups all at the same time. It really gives you that like complete, holistic, uh, full body strength. And, you know, for me anyway, it helps you build up that dexterity and that like spatial awareness because you're thinking about all these, how to move your body in all these different ways all at once, okay? That's gonna be important for range of school too, believe it or not, especially when you're looking at the obstacle courses. All right, so here we go. I know somebody's gonna be judging my form there, but again, as best as you can, control the weight, get it done. I mean, look, I'm already sweating like crazy. That's good stuff. All right, now we got the military press. Now this one's really important when it comes to upper body strength as far as pushing things go. So put, helping to push your buddies up over the walls during the obstacle course, um, pushing up equipment onto platforms. This is gonna be a really important exercise. There's a reason they call it the military press is because you use these muscles a lot in the military. Now this is also a very dangerous exercise even though it, it can seem like it wouldn't be. People normally go too heavy too fast, okay? It feels like you can lift heavier with the shoulders than you really should be sometimes. I would advise going light with higher rep ranges for most of the time that you're doing any shoulder exercises, minus the shrug. You'll be okay with the shrug. You'll see a lot of guys out there, especially you army guys, um, that complain about having rotator cuff uh, pain, you know, shoulder pain, they can't lift as heavy because they hurt their shoulder. Well, that's typically because of an exercise like this that they just either had bad form or lifted too heavy too fast. Bench press, any sort of press exercise will cause uh, rotator cuff injuries pretty easily if you're not doing them right and if you're not doing them safely, okay? So focus on the movement, nice, uh, moderate weight, nothing too heavy, nice and slow movements, okay? Here we go. Also, typically you see a military press done with dumbbells, but because I don't have dumbbell sets, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and modify that to the barbell, which is just fine, okay? It's okay to modify exercises as long as you get it done. just the right amount of weight for me. All right, now we're moving into the barbell shrug, which is pretty self-explanatory. All right, the one thing I want you to focus on with this though is getting a nice like two to three second squeeze at the top when you're doing the shrugs, okay? That's really what you need to be getting done here. So three times 12. Now a lot of people also want to load up on the shrugs, which you know isn't necessarily dangerous in my opinion, 
but it might not do much good if you're not getting that full range of motion and that squeeze at the top. All right, so use some moderate, use something you can control. Um, don't try to be that crazy person in the gym just lifting a lot of weight on the shrugs, just do it right. Next exercise are the good mornings, okay? This, this exercise is going to be targeting mainly the glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back, okay? Now, since we're actually targeting the lower back with this exercise, we wanna make sure that the weight is not too heavy, okay? Moderate is the highest I want you to go on this. This exercise is to build up that strength for ruck marching, climbing those hills or in mountain phase, you know, all those things where you're gonna be using the lower half of your body. This is a great exercise to be doing. But the last thing you wanna do is blow out your back or, or pull a muscle or something like that before you go. So just be careful, low weight, nice, smooth, and methodical, and you wanna get a nice squeeze at the top portion of the rep, okay? And that's really, that's where you're gonna feel it in your glutes. All right, this is what it's gonna look like. All right, and then we're gonna finish it off with some, some curls for the girls, or if you prefer, buys for the guys. You got your hammer curls and then your easy bar curls. I'm gonna be using my super easy bar for both because again, I don't have dumbbells. But this is what a super easy uh, curl bar looks like, if you're interested. So, the, uh, so you can see the, the grips are emphasized. All right, so that way you can still get your hammer curls in as well as your normal uh, easy bar curls, okay? So I, I definitely recommend the super easy bar uh, curl bar to add to your home gym arsenal. I'll drop a link to that in the description so that you know where to go get one. Now these curls might seem like a superficial exercise, but actually they have great application when it comes to ranger school, uh, when it comes to soldiering in general, soldier fitness. Now when we're looking at ranger school, the, the main things that we're really trying to prep for here is rope climbing, uh, the chin up exercise events, uh, the obstacle courses again, all those different platforms you have to pull yourself on, control of the rope, all those different sorts of things. Uh, pulling equipment, you know, there, there actually is a lot of application here uh, with, the, with the biceps, okay? So don't skip these, these are really important. Have fun with them. All right, so again, we have the hammer curl and the easy bar curl. Here we go. So with the hammer curl, we wanna make sure we're focused on a, I guess, vertical grip is what you'd wanna call this, okay? So your grip should be like this, gripping the bar, just like you're swinging a hammer. And you can still do this with a super easy bar. That's what I love about this thing. All right, here we go. And then for the easy bar curl, you just want to keep like a, a normal to wide grip and just focus on your grip being more or less uh, lateral, okay? So the opposite of what we just did. And that's going to work a different, different section of the bicep. So you're training right and looking good at the same time. So that was a strength workout pulled directly from the 13 week range of school program uh, that you can find at Gritty Soldiers Fitness. It is the best fitness train up program for Ranger School you're gonna be able to find out there, okay? A lot of work has gone into that program. We stand by that program. It's helped a lot of dudes and dudettes get through Ranger School and get their tab. You know, you're just not gonna find anything better out there, hands down. Again, most of the workouts in that program are not focused on strength. You'll definitely see some strength training workouts and there is a lot of strength training um, integrated into the program itself, but the program really is focused on endurance, getting you ready for those endurance events, being able to ruck for endless amount of miles, endless amount of hours, carry an ungodly amount of, of weight. <laughs> but we can't build solid uh, full body endurance, especially strength endurance, without having some sort of foundational strength to work off of, okay? So that's really why you'll see that integrated into the program. That's what makes it so important. 
So definitely go give that program a look if you haven't already. I'll drop a link in the description. I mentioned before taking your protein when you're done working out, you wanna do that within an hour, okay, to get the most out of the protein that you're putting into your body to start that muscle repair process. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna be using Mermite from Downrange Supplements. Okay, this is part of the giveaway as well. This is the protein that will come with the giveaway. It's good shit, it tastes really good. And I would recommend you take protein all the way up to day one of Ranger School. That's really because you're trained up for Ranger School, you should be at peak performance levels. You shouldn't be like starving yourself or, or you know, trying to do sleep deprivation training or anything like that, or overeating. You shouldn't be doing anything like that. You should be like peak physical performance going into Ranger School because once you get there, day one, that's when the breakdown period starts. So you need to have, you need to be at the top of your game when you show up because after that, there's no going back. It's only breakdown from then on, okay? So show up right, show up prepared, show up healthy, show up fit, show up ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This channel has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Ranger School um, and other things such as nutrition, fitness in general, running, military, career enhancement, all sorts of things, all right? So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. And also be on the lookout for the next few videos that are gonna be coming out. They will include chances to win that package from Downrange Supplements that I was talking about, okay? So you wanna be part of that giveaway, it's good stuff. So besides that, I got my workout in for the day. I think it's time to go get some good food, get cleaned up. And besides that, I got nothing else for you. I'll see you on the next one.